Y'all can call me AJ or Alicia. <laughs> it's a long, convoluted name. So, um, and I actually got my start in, in public access television. Um, yeah, love public access. So, um, yeah, I started doing um, television with, uh, I grew up in Medway, Massachusetts, and I started basically as a Girl Scout in the sixth grade, going to the public access TV station and making PSAs for buy cookies, and we're doing this event, and we're doing this can drive, and all that other stuff. Um, and my father is an advertiser and did a little filmmaking in his own right, so I was kind of bit by the bug and always wanted to do this and always tell stories and, and all that. Um, so I'm going to jump around a little bit, but fast forward from I am a filmmaker, I'm going to be a filmmaker to this video that I just showed you. And primarily, what did you see a lot of in there? Men. Men. I saw a lot of men. A lot of guys, yeah. And we love guys. I love my men. They're wonderful. They're great. So um, where does women in film fit into my life is being able to uh, say, OK, so I am a woman who runs a film company, and I'm not reaching out to women. I'm not looking outside of my box, and I call it looking up. You know, I just needed to look up. And you know, especially when I have a great little video like that, and I was not asking a lot of women to be on my crew. I wasn't actively seeking them. But they weren't actively seeking me, and I found that that is a, a, a gap I needed to bridge in my life. And for me to do that, Women in Film was a perfect, perfect place to do that. So that's why I joined the organization. Um, so, okay, how did I even get to this, this point? Um, I went to film school. I went to the Savannah College of Art and Design down in Georgia. Yeah. Anybody ever been to Savannah, Georgia? Yeah. Yeah. Love Georgia, great school, and I went to be um, a camera operator. They had the best equipment at the time of, of all the schools, and I love, love Emerson and, and all the other schools up here, but they had the Lucas Cam down in Savannah, and I wanted to use the very cam, which they were shooting the new Star Wars movies on, and I was like, oh, I'm, I'm going there. <laughs> exactly. It was us and AFI that had the camera, so I was like, I'm going. Um, so I went through my entire school years thinking I was going to be uh, a steady cam operator. I took steady cam classes. I did a little bit of that, um, you know, dolly operating, and all of those classes, pretty much, I was one of two girls or the only girl. And at the time, I wasn't really thinking about um, being a woman. I was thinking about, I am going to score better on my tests, I'm going to pick up this rail, and I'm going to move it as fast as the guys, and I am going to be an integral part of the team that I've been placed on, and I'm going to pull my weight. And that just meant doing what I had in front of me, and not lifting up my head and thinking about the rest of the world and, and what kind of stories I wanted to tell. Until I actually started doing the camera work and started working with people telling the stories, I realized, oh, this sucks. <laughs> You know, they need to do this better, and it doesn't matter what kind of lens I use and what kind of lights we put up. If the story sucks and the thing that they're putting in front of me doesn't resonate with me, then it doesn't work. So I moved out from behind the camera and started doing a little production design, producing. Uh, fast forward when I meet that guy. Hey. <laughs> And we started collaborating together, and you know that was that was another thing is finding good allies. Whether you're thinking about being a, you know a woman in film or a man and doing your thing, uh, was finding allies that understood what I wanted to do in my storytelling and what kind of things I wanted to create. Um, what is great about that video is that everything I say in that is true. I think of film as a family. You live and eat and breathe with these people for three months at a time. You have to trust them that they're going to work with you um, and help you get to a vision. Because it's a lot of time and effort and money that you put into these things. or you know, And you want to know that everybody's moving along in the same direction. So I found one of my allies and a few others along the way. And Women in Film has been a whole new wonderful group of allies that I've found that help me tell stories and advocate uh, for things that I, I want to do. Um, I have, in my recent years, <laughs> so what do I do is my day job, because everybody wants to know. So uh, my quote unquote day job is running Good Nature Dog Productions. So we do um, a lot of commercial work, social media videos, because everybody wants those. Um, and then uh, a lot of producing for the larger stuff that comes to town. Um, and then I also work for WCAI, which is the uh, NPR station for the Cape, the Coast, and the Islands. So I, I'm able to do that job. I'm a traffic coordinator. So that means know that I'm not 
uh, organizing what goes over the Bourne Bridge. I have nothing to do with that. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, I, I get to play God and what plays on the radio when? Yay. So I, I do that, but I can do that mostly remotely. And then other than that, Sunday mornings, if you're on Cape Cod, you can hear me telling you the weather, the weather, some news, and the weather. Mostly it's weather. I'm telling a lot about the weather. Um, so, so that's what I do, but it's also afforded me, uh, being a producer has afforded me a lot of time to put some love and energy into women in film. And so what is women in film? So we've been around, uh, and, and of course I'm going to refer to Juliet over here, who's, who's uh, my uh, immediate past president, the immediate past president of women in film, and I was her vice president. And um, now she is, um, I'm keeping her hostage now. She, <laughs> she's uh, my right-hand woman, and uh, she's the institutional memory, and she knows things, and she's connected to people, so I'm really thrilled she's here tonight, too, which is awesome. Uh, so Women in Film has been around for 35 years, and we are the third oldest um, organization of our kind in the United States. Uh, L.A. and New York have us beat. But we are here to basically create space and do whatever needs doing to help women tell their stories. You know, there's there's something about working with women that is, that is very different from working on a, a set where you're the only woman there all day long. And I love my guys, and they're very supportive of all the things I, I want to do. But it's sometimes just a little different having a sisterhood to hang out with, and, and that's always great. Um, but again, I, I, I am inviting a lot of guys into the conversation because you can't make change in a silo, right? You, you got to involve all parties to talk about things. So to that effect, I actually just sat down with Talmus, and we have planned out an entire year's worth of events. This is the thing I wanted to tell you. <laughs> we sat down. I said, OK, I want a 101 audio event. I want, um, I want to sh bring out whatever camera I pick, and we're going to have an event on that. I'm going to have an event where we just drink wine and eat cheese, and you're gonna, you know, we're going to talk. And anything that my people want to ask you, you're going to answer. And they're just going to be available to us. You know, uh, what is it like having a good relationship with your rental house? How many of you guys rent equipment other than outside of here? OK. Yeah. <laughs> and if you're doing your next thing up, maybe you've, you know, and I actually have a lot of, um, a lot of my male students and a few, a few of my female students who've started at public access, gone to college, and then have gone on to work in the larger film industry. They still send the love back to their public access stations, but they've gone on to do other things. Um, but because they've had a good relationship with public access, which is very caring and wonderful and good, um, they don't always know how to talk to a rental house. <laughs> You know, and that's something, even when I call up Talmus today, I'm like, okay, I, I want to see 300. And they're like, do you need a tripod? Yeah, I do need a tripod. What kind of audio do you want? Oh, yeah, I actually want this kind of audio. They're very loving and caring about, you know, the things I need. What are you shooting? And I'll explain to them. And they're like, so you want these kinds of lenses? Yes, I do. That is what I want. Because, you know, I'm so busy producing and putting my blinders on and just trying to get the thing done that I need a good ally on the other side. And uh, I really want Talmus and Rule and High Output and all the other rental houses rental. in the area. Yeah, rental houses, yeah. All the rental houses and, yeah, all the rental houses in the place. Lens Proto Go is another one. To, to um, not just stay in their buildings and say, I have the equipment. I want them out in the community talking to y'all and saying, here's what we have and what can I do for you? So um, to the funding part, um, that's a, a down the line for us is I, I would like to figure out how we can uh, be more, uh, connect more people to grants and that's something I need to figure out on my own and, and you know work with people who are smarter than me to figure that out so if anybody really likes doing paperwork and writing grants let me know because <laughs> that's some, that's a whole that's a whole workshop we could hold alone how to sit down and write an effective grant um, you know when to Indiegogo and when to kickstart when to just ask for money and when to just fundraise and, and for how much. And that, that's a whole, that's a whole like three day workshop in my mind. Um, but at the, to start, the rental houses, film festivals, they can be offering our membership discounts. I'm inviting you officially to be a part of the sisterhood that is women in film. It's 50 bucks a year. There are also other membership levels, student membership levels as well. But I, I need you, and I need your ideas, and I need your brains, and I need your thoughts, and I want to not only uh, try to put your ideas into motion, but let's all work together to make the storytelling better. Um, 
I'm excited to be part of the organization. I'm excited that tonight was great. Tonight was really, we've, we're, we've got an event going. I've got, I've got my task list set up for like the next week as I, as I put my leg up and I ice it. So that's perfect. <laughs> but um, again, reach out to us anytime. Women in film, we're online. If likely, if you get an email, it's Juliet. If you get something from Facebook, it's me. Um, and I want to be here for you. I have spent so much time in the boys club. And again, I love my boys. I love my boys. Um, but this is important to me. And I really want to make sure that I'm giving back to the community that supported me and let's all make it better together. So that's it. Thank you for having me. <laughs> Thank you.